People often make a big deal about football formations, but let's not get too caught up in the hype. Just knowing a team plays in a 4-4-2 doesn't tell us much about how they actually play. The real secrets of a team's strategy, like when they press, where players move, and the signals they use, come from a deeper look at tactics, not just the formation. Take Barcelona for example, who look like a 4-3-3 on paper. But when they start with a goal kick, they switch things up to a back four with two midfielders. And when they move into the opponent's half, they might look more like a 3-2-2-3 or a 3-2-5. Defense? That could be a solid 5-4-1 or a vigilant 5-3-2. Pressing in the midfield? You'll see them rocking a 4-4-2. Football is a dynamic game, so don't get too hung up on the starting lineup. To really understand a team's game plan, we need to focus on their tactics, not just the formation. The formation gives a basic idea, but it's like the starting point. Whether a team goes for a 4-3-3 or a 5-3-2 changes how the game plays out, affecting where players go and who they face. It's like the stage where players figure out where they and everyone else should be. But here's the catch, the magic is in how a team uses their tactics. Attacking from a 4-4-2 looks way different from defending in the same formation. Trying to say a specific formation has one style is tricky. Those general statements like teams in a 4-4-2 press more don't always hold up in the real game. Now, let me drop a cool stat from the last Premier League season. The 4-2-3-1 formation was the popular pick, with the 4-3-3 right behind and the 3-4-2-1 in third place. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that subscribe button, give a thumbs up, and let's keep the tactical talk going.